guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support. Already up to 100 subscribers in my first week. I think that's pretty awesome. And it's all thanks to you guys. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. So today, I'm going to be taking apart my door panels in the 2015 Subaru WRX. Hopefully this video will help you guys, give you some pointers. It's pretty straightforward. So in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to unsolder the LEDs on these door switches and then re-soldering new LEDs on. I'm going to change all the LED colors in my entire car. I'm, I'll show you videos on how to take the tack apart, how to do this on the heated seat switches, pretty much everything that lights up in the car. So like the door switches, the heated seat switches, the tack, the AC knobs. So stay tuned. I'm also going to be putting in LEDs around the inside of the speakers inside the door panel. I'll show you guys how to do that. Let's get started. First, what you're going to want to do is undo these two bolts. There's one inside of the door handle and the other one is inside of the door pocket. Next, you're going to start from one corner and pull the door panel forward. Start at the bottom left or right hand corner and just pry the door panel away from the car. You want to be gentle but also kind of forceful. The top of the door panel needs to be lifted upwards. It doesn't unclip like the bottom, so once you get the bottom and the sides unclipped from the door, just lift it straight up. Next, you're going to want to undo all of the sensors unclip all the connectors and unscrew the door handle from the back of the door panel. These are shots of both the driver's side and the passenger side switches. The driver's side will have more connectors. Don't forget to unplug the speaker connector. Then repeat these steps for all four doors. put everything into baggies, that's my go-to thing, is to organize everything into baggies, as stupid as that may sound.
Be sure not to lose the spacers for the door handles. They look like this. To remove the speakers from the doors, there's three screws. They are also marked left and right so you don't confuse them, but I did label them myself with a Sharpie on the back of them too, just in case. These are the two screws for the driver's side master window switch. To take apart the window switches, you want to take two flathead screwdrivers. You want to pry up on the tabs, but very lightly, be careful not to break them. There are holes that go underneath the window switch between the window switch and the cover. I stick a flathead screwdriver straight through there to help me leverage the two apart. The cover on the window lock switch will pull straight off and then the circuit board will release. I thought this was pretty cool. You can actually see how the auto up and down works inside of the master switch.
guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. Hopefully this video helped you. Thanks for making it this far through. <laughs> I appreciate it. And don't forget to send it.